Hey, what's up YouTube? Coin flip back and today we have a roll of 1943S. They have it labeled as Gem BU and this is just another one of the auction buys that uh, I saw online. So I decided to pick it up. Got it for a heck of a price. I think these are going anywhere from three to 400 uh, online if you get them in a Gem BU. But this was literally a picture um, about like that. You could see the five. You could see the S, and then of course you could see the edge. That was the only picture. So it was a risk, but I had some other stuff on the auction or a state auction, as I've uh, mentioned in previous videos of uh, some of the auction buys. But anyway, I already had some stuff that I was buying there. So I went after this roll to see what was in the inside. So when we got it here, um, and pulled off the kind of outer um, case that it was in or whatever. Um, we discovered that it did say 1943S. They had a price on it of 235 And then we just pulled off the uh, sticker on top and 1943S Gem BU. So without further ado, let's get into it. We're just going to go through these. There's no varieties or errors per se. Um, maybe lamination, but if they're Gem BU, I would imagine, you know, obviously at some point somebody's uh, gone through these. So kind of see through the... Uh, Clear plastic here. They they look to be Gem BU. So let's get it open. See what we got. All right. So the tape was having troubles coming off. So basically just broke the edge here, so we could get this thing opened up. And I think it's loose enough to give it a shot. I'd say that's a pretty good sign so far. Definitely a uh, gem BU. Just makes you wonder how long these have been in there. That roll looks fairly old. All right, set these down so I try not to knock them over. All right, we'll just start with a smaller stack here so we can kind of go through them. So obviously the main thing that we're gonna be looking for is if we can find one with full steps. So we'll go through all these, double check them, and any, anything that we think is going to be high grade in a 65 or better, we'll probably set aside, but definitely looking pretty good so far. This is always fun when you get stuff like this, you can go through and search and wonder how long they've been there. These are definitely looking like some full steps. So we're gonna go through these, like I said. This one's pretty incredible. You guys get the point i'm going to finish going through these and we're going to check for full steps and we'll bring you in for a quick little recap but always fun to just kind of go through some gem bu rolls 1943 s silver war nickel all right let's uh, go through these we'll be right back all right guys so we're just going through all the uh, nickels here and trying to determine which ones are getting full steps and some of the misconception and again, this is just from my opinion. I am not an expert in this by any means. I'm not a professional grader, but I want to show you something here. And again, if you have any feedback, feel free to leave it in the comments, but let's get over to the computer. Let me show you what I got. So I have it at this angle so you can see the lines a little bit better, but here would be an example. And again, this is to my understanding of what 
a five step. So NGC does five steps or six steps in their designation and most others uh, just do full steps. Full steps requires the five steps which is going to be the top step, the three in the middle and then you'll see the one at the bottom. Now there is a six step on the bottom and you can see on this particular one it's weak in the middle and so that's where that sixth step will be. I have several, um, I haven't gone through all of them yet but I would say I have at least 10 or so like this, and I have what I think three or four would actually get the six step designation. So, and then we have obviously the rest of those uh, not in that category, but pretty cool uh, to see some of these just mint luster, mint gem BU, if you will, 43S war nickels. All right, so here we have what I would consider not full steps. This row I would say would get the five step or full step designation. Here's four that would get the full step with six step designation. And let me show you what that looks like under the scope. So about five of those total out of 40 and then almost 50-50 split. Looks like maybe one more in this row. Otherwise 50-50 split between the two of full steps, not full steps. So actually more than 50%. So I was mistaken on how many actually probably have it, which is pretty cool sign. So here we have this one under the scope and this one is going to be definitely full steps for sure five possibly six. Let me show you what we have. All right so here you can see the steps and really the only mark in question is right there above the C. So definitely five and because of that little spot it may not get the six steps but you can see the line all the way to that point. So very close there probably get five full steps on this one, but that gives you an idea of what you're looking for on some of these. Here's that nickel in hand. And again, just a few small marks on this coin, not much going on otherwise, maybe to the right of Monticello and just under the end of Monticello itself. In the front, just a few small marks, I would say. One uh, right there on the cheek behind the lips. But otherwise, again, these have been sitting in a roll. So a quick dip on these things and they would be shined up pretty well. But just to give you an idea what we're looking at on some of these coins in a more up close fashion. But you can see those steps right there looking pretty good. All right, guys, that's all I have for now. Thanks for watching. Coin Flip out.